Hey partners, today we're going to mod a movie accurate Woody holster and belt. Let's get into it. You're watching Today I Grew Up. Hey partners, most of my views come from non-subscribers, so please consider subscribing today. Hit that alert so you'll be notified for future videos. It helps me as I'm on my way to 100,000 subs this year. Really appreciate it. Hey partners, back here again. So excited to share with you my process of making my own movie accurate Woody, which I haven't done before. So last time we saw Brazil Woody, what we did was we transferred the boots over from a Toy Story 4 uh, Woody that we found out was basically the Thinkway Toys boot with the accurate color, so I didn't have to paint anything. Since then, I added Andy at the bottom of the boot, uh, so that worked, and then um, I cleaned up the glue so there's no extra glue. It's just some scrapes, minor scrapes, but that's fine because it gives Woody some character on the boots to make it look a little more worn. But I think they look really nice on him. So the next step would be the belt and the holster. So I found this Woody on eBay, but he's the laughs a lot Woody. Um, I had an extra one and I noticed that he had an accurate color holster for the yellow and he also had an accurate belt. So the way this was on here, it was on attached to this plastic. There were some other round ends here on the sides. And so what I did was I got some scissors to kind of loosen it. I got some gator grips to kind of pry this off and then I used scissors to cut it out. So I cut this out of the woody. That's why there's a hole there. So you get, I had to destroy a laugh a lot's woody uh, to get the accurate belt and also I cut the holster off so I can begin working on the holster and I'll show you what I did after I took that out. So what I did to get the movie accurate yellow part off was I started to kind of cut under this way with the blade, very sharp blade, um, and I started going very slow. Eventually I was able to kind of cut this whole part off of the Brazil Woody because it had the wrong color gold. And then I shaved this part as well. So I just went under this way, went really slow. So if you can gut it, you can kind of flatten this uh, fake jewel off, and then I can get under here and cut that part off and then I had room for the jewel because I had cut the jewel off uh, like that. So if you know how to cut with the blade, just go very slow like this, you can make steps to kind of cut off the plastic uh, jewel off of your woody holster. Um, you just have to go very slow and lucky for me I have a lot of spare parts in this office. So if I do screw up or I mess up, um, I have other replacements. So that's actually how I did the process of modding my Brazil Woody holster was I cut down here, shave it off, shave this part off, and then I transplanted the yellow part, the accurate part, and then I got a jewel. So let me show you that step. So you can go to your local craft store and I found one with a perfect red ruby jewel. Um, as you can see there, it's just a silver backing on it. So there's a slight silver lining. It's not as pronounced, but it's still kind of there. So if you can go to your local craft store and find a jewel kit like this, this is how I found my red ruby. And I was like, oh yeah, this is only like two bucks at the store. I was like, I can totally use that for my holster. So this is what I did on my holster. I got the ruby, I super glued it on. I got the accurate yellow and I super glued it on. So as you can see, I shaved off, I made it flat and then I was able to transplant this on. So it's obviously, it's not 100% perfect. You know, there's a little imperfection there, but it kind of gave it a cool weathering look. So I'm not going for perfect. I'm just going for as accurate as I can make it. And this is what I came up with because I felt like if I painted it, it would come out messy. So by doing a super glue transplant, Frankensteining or kit bashing the toy, um, I felt like I could really do better and it, it looks a lot better um, like that. So I think it looks really nice. Uh, I think it's cool. And also I made this loose. If you just pull on this joint here and make it loose, just pull on it. Uh, and then eventually what you can do is make the holster loose so it swivels better. So as you can see here, I'm kind of spinning it uh, in a circle and it's uh, spinning, so that's good. So I did make it loose. So I really like that. Um, I did it myself, so really can't complain because now it's not paint. There's no paint mess because I just literally sliced it off another woody and then added my own jewel, super glued it, and it stayed. It's not going anywhere, so that looks nice. So lucky for me, on the Brazilian one, it was already loose, so I was able to take off the collection one by breaking the piece off behind it, um, and I was able to just slip it out, so the collection belt buckle I was able to remove, no problem. 
We're going to put the accurate belt buckle like this through the holes. And uh, once I put it on Woody, this bracket right here that it comes with from the lots of, lots of laughs Woody is able to kind of snap in place. And now it's tight and secure. It kind of snaps in perfect. So now you're going to watch me uh, put this holster on Woody. I think it's going to look fantastic when we're done here. Just got to line up the belt loops here. Make sure that the holster lines up there for Woody because that's where we see it in the movie. So we're going to put it right here through this belt loop as well. Go through the back, get through all the belt loops here. It's like putting on a real belt, but on a mini Woody doll. <laughs> Feed it this way, and then we're going to go this way. This part will overlap. So it's cool because I was able to use the original uh, Brazilian Woody belt that it came with, just with modifications now. Um, so that is nice. So I'm going to put this in like we're done. And now we can line up the holes there as you can see. Then we're going to get our accurate color belt buckle. And we are going to thread it through both. Right there. Right there we're going to thread it through both straps. And then we're going to make sure that this is facing out because that's how it snaps in place better. So I'm going to snap it that way. So as you can see, there's a lot of layer protection for the belt buckle. His belt buckle is not going to come out. So even if I lightly pull on it right now, it is not coming out. So that's nice. So that looks really nice on the belt buckle. He still has that uh, nice printing in there, nice detail. It's a movie accurate color. And it's nice to have the matching color here on the holster with the added ruby. So I think that looks fantastic. Here's a cool uh, comparison between my first movie accurate uh, Woody here and the belt buckle here on the Brazilian one that I'm making. So as you can see, it's uh, pretty nice. I really like that the colors are really nice on it. The jeans are way better on this Brazil one now, which I like. And then you now here's a comparison between mine and JC Alva's. Um, so you can see uh, it's basically looks exactly the same. It doesn't look too different. Uh, the rubies kind of look the same. The yellow is a nice accurate color as well. I like that my yellow matches my boots exactly because I think this one does too. It's a little different. But yeah, all in all, I'm very satisfied because I did this myself without any painting. I just cut this from another Woody, the yellow, super glued it on, and then I super glued the jewel after I shaved the fake one down. And basically that's all I did to achieve the effect. I think this was very successful and a smart idea to do because now I have to deal with messy paints and I'm closer to a movie accurate Woody now. So there you have it, an update on my Brazil Woody movie accurate in process. I obviously have a better belt and a better holster with Ruby now. So that phase is complete. So what I'm gonna go next to do is get some uh, movie accurate hands. So I'm gonna get another $95 to get those hands. I'm going to get a movie accurate 3D printed head that's squishy. I'm going to try to paint the vest so it's a little bit vibrant. Um, I'm still thinking about some other little upgrades like I'm going to get the movie accurate voice box, get a better pull string ring that's smaller, and also work on the vinyl stitching for the hat like we got for the first JC Alva uh, Woody attempt. I have a lot of exciting updates on this channel, so you just want to stay tuned. I'm about to hit 75,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, partners, for getting us there. Really excited to do a movie accurate Woody voice box giveaway. So if you want a chance, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're alerted for future videos on this channel. And I'll see you partners on the next video review. You want the real Buzz Lightyear? You're, a, no, you're an action figure. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. You are a sad, 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 strange little man. That might be you are a child plaything. Hey, Ham, look. I'm Picasso. I don't get it.